solid aluminum shaft, one meter long and of 50 mm diameter, is to be replaced by a hollow, hollow steel shaft of the same length and same outside diameter, so that the hollow shaft could be carry the same torque and has the same angle, angle of twist. And what must be the inner diameter of the hollow shaft? Take models of resistivity for the aluminum as 28 GPA and that for steel as 85 GPA. Okay. So first of all, write down the given data. The diameter of aluminum it is, it is denoted by D8 is given 50 mm. 50 mm. Okay. Then length it is given L is equal to L is equal to one meter. L is equal to one meter. Okay. Then diameter of steel. Hello shift, hello, hello circular diameter. It's the external diameter. Green. It is given same. That is 50 mm. Okay. So we need to calculate the internal diameter of steel. That is small ds is equal to question mark. Okay. Then modulus of rigidity for aluminum. It is given. That is pa. Pa is equal to it is 28 gpa. 28. GPA. So convert it is in Newton per mm square. That is 28 into 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Okay. Newton per mm square. Then modulus of elasticity for steel it is also given. That is CS is equal to that is given 85 GPA. GPA. So 85 into 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Okay. So this one it is given. Modulus of rigidity for steel. Okay. Modulus of rigidity for steel. So we know that torsion equation in terms of angle of twist. Torsion, torsion equation. Torsion equation in terms of in terms of angle of twist, in terms of angle of twist, angle of twist, angle of twist, that is theta, okay? angle of twist. So, torsion equation write down, T divided by P is equal to, this equation, T divided by IP, IP it is polar moment of inertia, T divided by IP is equal to is equal to C into C theta divided by L. C theta divided by L. C theta divided by L. Okay. So theta is equal to okay, then theta is equal to T into L. T into L divided by T into L divided by T into L divided by IP into C. IP into solar moment of into C. Okay. So now angle of twist twist for for aluminium. Aluminium shaft. Aluminium shaft. Angle of twist for aluminium shaft. Okay. So theta A is equal to T T A into L A divided by divided by divided by I P into S. So I P IP into CA, aluminum of uh, modulus of rigidity for aluminum. So put all this value here TA into LA divided by polar moment of inertia for solid section, it is pi, pi into capital D is 4. Capital D is 4 
डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी टू डिवाइड बाय थर्टी टू डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी टू इन टू सी ए मॉडल ऑफ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम इज ट्वेंटी एट इंटू ट्वेंटी एट इंटू टेन रेस टू द पावर थ्री न्यूटन एम एल स्क्वेयर ओके सो राइट डाउन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन जस्ट सो is equal to ta into l ta into l a divided by divided by pi into pi into so external diameter of steel it is 50 50 raised to 4 50 raised to 4 divided by 32 Divided by thirty-two. Divided by thirty-two. Thirty-two into twenty-eight into ten raised to the power three. Okay, so this one it is theta. So now theta is modulus of the uh, angle of twist for steel. It is T S into L S divided by Divided by here it is. Hello, hello, circular tube. This one it is. So pi into what? Hello, circular tube. Pi into capital D rest four. Capital D raised to four minus small D raised to four minus small D raised to four small D raised to four divided by thirty two. Divided by thirty two into modulus of elasticity for steel it is eighty five into Ten raised to the power three newton per m square. Okay. Okay. So now, right on. So here it is given same torque and same angle of twist. So angle angle of Twist, 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 and torque. Will be will be equal in both cases. Will be equal in both cases. Will be equal in both cases. Okay, equal in both cases. So that's why. Theta y is equal to theta s. Theta s. Okay. So theta y it will be T a into L a divided by divided by divided by pi into pi into pi into fifty raised to four. Fifty raised to four. Fifty raised to four. Divided by thirty-two. Divided by thirty-two. Into into twenty-eight. Twenty-eight into ten raised to the power three is equal to T S into T S. Into L S L S divided by divided by okay so divided by divided by pi into pi into in bracket 
in bracket capital D raised to four. Capital D raised to four. That is fifty raised to four. External diameter will be same. Fifty raised to four minus minus small D raised to four minus small D raised to four small D raised to four divided by thirty two divided by thirty two. Thirty-two. So this one it will be modulus modulus of rigidity for steel it is eighty-five into ten to the power three. Okay. So this pi get this pi get cancelled. This thirty-two get cancelled. This thirty-two. So ten to three get will get ten to three it will get cancelled. So here it is given as the angle of twist it will be same. So length it is also given same length and diameter replaced by hollow shaft with same length and so length it will be same and torque it will be also same. Okay, torque it will be also so it will be get cancelled. This L A L S T A T S cancel. Okay, so only remaining here one divided by one divided by fifty raised to four. Fifty raised to four. Fifty raised to four into twenty-eight into twenty-eight into twenty-eight is equal to is equal to one divided by one divided by fifty. In that case. T raised to four. T raised to four minus D raised to four minus D raised to four into eighty five into eighty five into eighty five. Okay, so just simplify this equation. So, so take this term will be this side and this will be this side. Okay, we can write down this one. It will be in that way. In that case, fifty raised to four, fifty raised to my four minus d raised to four minus d raised to four d raised to four minus d raised to four. Into eighty five. Into eighty five is equal to fifty raised to four into twenty eight. Fifty raised to four raised to four into twenty eight. So be one seventy five into ten raised to six. One seventy five into ten raised to the power six. Okay. So you can simplify this equation again. Fifty raised to four. Fifty raised to four minus d 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 raised to four is equal to eighty five. One seventy five into ten raised to six divided by eighty five. So this term it will be two point zero. Five eight eight into ten to the power one seventy five into ten to the power six divided by eighty five two point zero five five eight into ten to the power six ten to the power six. Okay. So this term will become this side. So d raised to four is equal to d raised to four is equal to D raised to four is equal to two point zero zero ten raised to power six plus fifty raised to four plus fifty raised to four. So it will be eight point eight point three zero eight into ten raised to power six into ten raised to power six. So D is equal to internal diameter raised to one by four. 
1 by 4. It will be get how much? 50 is 4 minus. So this, this one it is 50 raised to 4 minus. Sorry. It will be just do the calculation. 50 raised to 4 minus 2.0588 into 10 raised to power 6. Sorry. 175 into 10 raised to power 6 divided by 85. So d raised to 4 is equal to write on d raised to 4 value here. d raised to 4 is equal to d raised to 4 is equal to 2.058 into 10 raised to power 6 50 raised to 4 minus 2.058 into 10 raised to power 6 that will be get 4.1911 into 10 raised to the power 6. Okay. So D is equal to now internal diameter is equal to raised to 1 by 4. Raised to 1 by 4. 4.1968. We can write down this one in bracket. 4.19. 1 1 into 10 raised to the power 6 bracket raised to 1 by 4. This one it is raised to 1 by 4. Raised to 1 by 4. Okay, raised to 1 by 4. So if we get internal diameter of charge raised to 1 by 4. Raised to 1 by 4. So if we get 45.24. 45.24 mm. Okay, so this one it is. Internal diameter of shaft when we provide the hollow shaft. 